to my channel. Today we're getting into another wash and go. I'm really excited because every single wash ever since I had that successful video with the do Moose Death styling with Moose for the first time, I have been absolutely obsessed with using mousse for styling. I just feel like with my hair in the current state that it's in, the current shape and everything, it just looks so good with some additional volume and the fact that my hair can dry in 20, 30 minutes, meaning I can wash my hair and go on the road and do things in the same day is amazing. So I'm obsessed. Today's wash and go, we are gonna be styling with another mousse. I've really just been trying different things, different mousses, but it's crazy because I've been finding that every single mousse is different. Some of them are drying for your hair, some of them have really good holds, some of them have really bad holds. So literally, it's just been such a fun like trial and error process. So we're gonna use a new mousse today. And um, because of all of that experimenting though, I want to start off by detoxing my hair and scalp with this Bread Beauty detox treatment. It's basically like a mud mask like you would do to detox your face and stuff, or a clay mask that we've done on here before for your hair, except it's prepackaged and ready to go, okay? I love that, so I don't have to make a bunch of mess. Mixing it in here. My hair is an absolute mess. I have been loving a good like sleek bun, especially since I've been working out. I'll like wash my hair, keep it out for like two to three days, and then I'll slick it back and it'll be in a bun for another two to three days, and then I'll go ahead and do another wash. Um, that's kind of been my routine lately. But yeah, it feels really like thick with products and stuff. My last wash, I used a mousse that I didn't like. It was called Euphora. I posted about it on Instagram, so y'all go check that out. But yeah, very much in need of this detox. I'm gonna go ahead and wet my hair. I'm really excited for this detox right now because whenever I do a good detox, my curls all, like it's a guaranteed great wash every time. I randomly do this like every, four to five washes, or honestly, whenever I feel like my curls need it. Like if I feel like I've got a lot of buildup going on, I'm detoxing. This is what the product looks like, legit. Like just looks like clay. You mix it up together and just apply it to wet hair. Am I gonna use a brush? I think I'm gonna detangle with a brush today. I'm also going to put a little bit of this on my scalp as well, so my scalp can get the benefits from the detox as well. So yeah, y'all, this obsession, like obsession, full blown, obsession with mousse for styling a wash and go is <laughs> so real. Especially at this length, like if you have short to medium hair, do it. I will say the one thing is mousses obviously don't have as much hold as gel and that's the beauty of it, but also like the bad side of it. For most mousses, I will say the wash and go that I get will be about until day four max and then I will need either a good little refresh or just to slick my hair back until whenever I'm ready to wash it next. The thought of maybe needing to wash your hair a little bit more often is not as bad for short to medium hair. Long hair, it's like, Lord, please no. But short to medium, it's fine. You're quick in and out in an hour, two hours max, and I just, I love it. Ooh, this middle part of my hair is always so like knotted and dry. All right, how long do we need to leave this on? Leave for 20 minutes and then proceed with your usual wash day routine. Boom, so nice and easy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this in and then I will meet y'all back in the shower. All right, so I just rinsed out the clay mask and I'm actually gonna go in with a whey detox shampoo for a little double detox to make sure we get everything out. I specifically love the shampoo because it's not stripping, it's nice and balancing, but still gets like a good detox done. So my hair's about to be clean, clean. Yeah, this is one thing I love from both of these detox products. My hair is nicely detox and clean, but not feeling stripped. We live. Of course, when you're doing a detox, you gotta hydrate. So I'm actually loving this Authentic Beauty Concept Hydrate Mask specifically for dry hair. They're a new brand that I tried out the other day. On the packaging, the usual, it's vegan formulas, free from microplastics, mineral oil, parabens, and silicones. And I also love the way this feels in my curls. It feels nice and juicy and silky. Okay, my hair 
feels amazing. Like I said, detox gets me right every time, plus a little hydration mask, easy. It's like the easiest combo for a guaranteed good wash and go. So time to get into styling. This is the mousse that I'm using. So it's called the Camille Rose Spiked Honey Mousse. It's a four in one styler. So it says it's a lightweight setting mousse infused with honey and nettle, crafted to smooth strands, boost, shine, and set your styles. So I have used this once before and I did post on Instagram about it. I love this mousse. It is, however, very, very different from the Dew mousse. So in comparison, the Dew Mousse Def Styler definitely offers like an actual crunch. It offers really great hold, great moisture as well. On the other hand, this is super curl defining, super moisturizing. My curls feel really, really good when I use it, but it does not offer very much hold at all, which is what it says in the bottle, to be fair. It says it's a lightweight setting mousse. That's exactly what it is. The reason why I want to try this one again is because a, I want to try pairing it with another product, which I did last time, but I want to use more of it to see if we can get more hold. And then also, I love the way my curls feel with it. Some foams can make your hair feel so dry, so just like, pfft, like, you know, it's just not a good situation. I'm sure if y'all have tried mousse, you have probably come across one that's made your hair feel like brittle. Um, but this is actually really nice and moisturizing. So I just want to experiment with it a little bit more to see if we can get some additional hold so we can get more than a day two because I have not passed day two with this mousse, but the way it looks on day one and day two is so good because it gives so much volume. And like I said, I'm shooting today, so I need the big fro. I need the hair to be popping. So what I'm gonna do in order to get just a little bit more hold because I also do have an event to go to tomorrow and I don't wanna look like overly frizzy or crazy by tomorrow night. So I'm going to pair it with the Rio Geo Frizz Control Gel. I'm picking this one because this gel in itself is already a very, very lightweight gel. But the fact that it is a gel, it should offer a little bit additional hold when they're paired together. Again, the first time I used it, I did use these together, but I would say the ratio I used was about 90% mousse and like 10% gel. And I think I'm gonna up it to about 80% mousse and 20% gel to see how we get. I don't wanna go overboard with the gel because I really need this to dry very quickly as it usually does. I just want a teaser wee A little bit more of hold and that's it. So let's see if we can get this to be a perfectly styled wash and go, big volume, decent amount of hold and yeah, I think we can do it. I'm gonna start by sectioning and I think like this size is good. Last time I did slightly bigger so I think yeah, I think this section works. So with mousse, I notice you do get slightly more hold as well if you make sure your hair isn't too soaking wet. So I wet it, but then I'm also like rinsing it out so it's not dripping wet. It's a fun fact about this mousse, by the way. So I went to a Camille Rose event. They had products on sale. I saw the mousse. I actually bought it with my own coins. And I had it just sitting down in my stash of stuff. My mom had seen it and she asked if she could have it. So I was like, okay, fine. I went on vacation, come back, and she had tried it while it was away. And she was like, this is absolutely amazing. She tried the do. And if you don't know, for reference, here's a photo of my mom. Her curls are a lot tighter than mine. She's more coily. She's a little bit, she's like, 4A, 4B, and 4C. Like she has all of those different types of patterns in her hair. So our hair is a little bit different. So yeah, when I tried to get her to use the do, she said she tried it and it was, it just felt a little drying in her hair for her. So then she tried this one because I've been just nonstop raving about mousse. So she really wanted to like find a successful mousse and this one, she absolutely raved about it. So when I got back, I was like, well, can I try it please? And then that's when I ended up trying it that one time and I can see why it's just, it's probably the most moisturizing mousse that I have ever used. And this is two little pumps here and a little bit goes a long way. Way. When I style with foams as well, if it's getting a little clumpy, I just use my fingers and separate those areas so we have like separated curl clumps. It doesn't really take too long, but I make sure to do this when I really, like if I really, really need a good wash, I will take the time to do this for each section. I prefer to actually separate them now while they're wet because also if you like try to separate when it's dry. My gardener's here and now I'm gonna have to open the back gate, but how am I gonna do that when I'm in the middle of washing my hair? I gotta go unlock my back gate, I'll be right back. Okay, talk about the worst possible timing ever. Uh, yeah, gardener's outside dealing with all the leaves that fell from the tree in the front. So if you hear a little mm, I'm so sorry, but we're gonna proceed with this wash. So this is how we're looking with just the mousse only. See what I mean? Like it's super curl defining, it's so pretty. 
So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of gel on top. I'm still not going crazy with gel. This is just the amount that I'm gonna use and I'm literally just gonna kinda scrunch it in. All right, boom, that's it for section number one. So then we're just gonna repeat that exact same thing for every single section. Curls are fucking up! Another quick tip for my specific hairstyle with the bangs and like just big fro vibes in general, honestly, not even just for my specific cut. If you're looking for more volume, especially on top, push your hair forward. When I set my hair back, obviously it wants to kind of like sit back when it's forward, it's like fluffy and it's volume. And then also the easiest way that I've found to do that is to actually style front to back. All right, so this is how we are looking. Curls are nice and defined and separated. I feel it in my bones. This is about to look so good. But here's where the true magic comes in. When we diffuse, we are in and out in 15 to 20. I love it, it's honestly my favorite part. Okay, so for diffusing, I use my Dyson Supersonic Air Dryer. I use it on heat setting number two. Basically, diffusing is very easy. I just keep it all flipped over and kind of like bent over and just continue to diffuse. That's my way I like to diffuse when I'm looking for extra volume. Just upside down, diffusing all over, and because we use mousse, again, quick dry. Let's actually time this. So it is 11.38. Let's see what time my hair is dry. I also wanted to add, I like to flip my hair all over when I diffuse. So I'll flip it to the right side, flip it to the left side, flip it in the front. That technique is gonna really help you get some good volume. It's actually exactly 10 minutes later and we're basically dry, y'all. Basically dry, I would call this 90% dry. This is why I've become so obsessed with mousse. Slightly a little bit more damp back here, so I'm gonna diffuse a little bit more, but in just 10 minutes. Amazing. All right, 11.50. I mean, ah, it gets me every time. It gets me every time. One of my biggest pet peeves is wasted time, so whenever I find a way that I can save time and do things quicker and more effectively, mm, I'm in there. So you can see we're still pretty nice and defined, but the volume is already kind of pumping up. My hair is super nice and fluffy. Exactly what we wanted. So yeah, this is it for right now. I'm actually gonna leave it. I have a meeting to do. I'm gonna eat some lunch and then I have to beat this face, get ready for filming, and then I'll come back and show y'all the final look. And now I'm back, all wound up for my shoot. I literally have not touched my hair except putting it back with this bandana, so. This is how we are looking. I mean, insane volume for day one, but I still wanna pump it up a little bit more. So I need to put y'all onto this. This is a brand called Fakai. So remember that Shea Butter mask that I really loved? The brand was named Fakai. Well, they sent me some clean stylers. These are aerosol sprays that are actually eco-friendly. Like they revolutionized the use of aerosol sprays. Like normal aerosol sprays are terrible terrible for the environment. But these, the way they've used this, they partnered with a brand called Honeywell. They have like new technology in there and this is has like basically almost zero impact on the environment. Same vibe, same great spray. And so this is their volume lock spray. I decided to try it one time and I am loving it because it gives you like humidity resistant volume. And just kind of lift and spray. Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> seeing what I'm seeing. The volume. So can y'all officially like see and understand why I've been obsessing over mousse so much now? <laughs> so what do we think? What do we think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Day one results, I will say by using a little bit of extra gel and using like smaller sections, I think I did get additional hold. It's not looking too frizzy. The curls are feeling extra defined. Sorry. I'm here for it, okay? I love it, it's giving. This is like a perfect wash to me, okay? Dry quick, didn't take long, looks phenomenal, lots of volume, the shape is giving. Could we ask for more? <laughs>
So yeah guys, that's basically gonna be it for this wash and go video. I hope you enjoyed it. I gotta go and shoot these photos. So I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.